Hey everybody and welcome back to Staying Kingdom Minded. Today is a shop with me. So you watched if you watched my most recent modesty clothing video. It was like a shop with me. I was sharing with you all of the summer new wardrobe pieces that I could find at my local Walmart to be able to dress the most modest as possible. So I asked you guys on my community tab and if you don't follow the community tab just go to my page my thing at the top it says community click on it open it up and I ask questions there I put polls on there so you guys can tell me what you want to see next on the channel all the things so today we are doing a um, another modesty shop with me video so I'm actually on my lunch break from work heading into Walmart for you because I want to show you some of the really super cute things in here today so I'm also going to share with you guys one other um, modesty tip modesty hack that I have for you. So let's get this video started. Okay, so the very first thing that I laid my eyes on inside of Walmart was this super, super cute lineup of swimsuit cover-ups, which I actually think that this would be super cute and super must be the word for this voiceover. So comment super below. <laughs> um, but I thought it would be really cute um, or kind of even classy, the material, to wear over the top of a summer dress to just add a nice little pizzazz to a summer dress with some heels or even some flats and just to kind of dress it up a little bit but these summer um, these swimsuit cover-ups I think are the cutest and I found some more right over here around the corner I can so totally see this being over the top of just a nice cute little flowy summer dress in addition to being a swimsuit cover-up let me know what you think below Okay, but for real, I saw that mirror and I was like, yo, peep the fit, Karen. <laughs> no, really, this snoga bottom with my work top, like I was feeling all the spring summer vibes. So I saw these really cute, trendy, awesome, colorful outfits. And I'm thinking, I personally don't wear just leggings, but my wheels started turning. Oh yeah, I saw these tops coordinating with the leggings and both pieces are like the dry fit material. And all of a sudden I was like, oh my word, Becky, like for real. I wanted to show you this idea and I will link a video below on how to make a DIY swim skirt. But I saw this and I thought, okay, this is athletic attire. This is um, like, for sure swim attire i can just see putting these things together and being able to go play at the park with my kids and not have to worry about being able to maintain my modesty but also in a super fashy trendy kind of way so what i think you could do here is just take one of these tops and pair it with a coordinating bottom not to say that this is like the ideal match in the moment but you get my drift um Yes, this would be a super, super DIY project, like super easy, super friendly DIY sewing project. And if sewing's not your thing, yeah, you definitely could take these to a seamstress. Um, just type in like the search bar on the internet if you don't have a seamstress. And yes, find yourself someone who could turn these into athletic or swim skirts very simply. Because honestly, for the cost of this, it is an absolute must have to your modest summer wardrobe it's not only going to keep you modest but the water resistant like the wicking material is going to be able to keep you cool and the colors and the patterns i just thought were absolutely super duper cute so if you're looking for summer dresses on a budget if you're looking for modest swimsuits on a budget again this shirt right here actually i felt like would be even a little bit better um, to make into a skirt and the color obviously matches so much better on this selection that I picked up off the rack. There were tons to choose from and then of course the staple colors, the grays and the blacks and then you could just do the pop of color maybe on the shirt that you wear. But yeah, I'm totally digging this Snoga bottom. I also did a review video on their bottoms. I'll link that below for you as well. And then a nice little pop of lavender on the bottom of my outfit as my undershirt. So just wanted to share my outfit with you as well as some other ideas. 
Okay, so you might be thinking, um, Amanda, isn't that skirt like a little short? Okay, so for 20 bucks, and PS by the way, I think that green-ish shade and definitely that coral are going to be two very in colors this year. You can never go wrong with denim, so peep the denim. And yes, Lee is just a tried and true kind of brand, if you will, and you can never ever ever go wrong with khaki because it matches almost everything. But I'm thinking there is a plethora of ways to make these modest, so definitely leggings, you could do a skirt extender or even a lace slip and then I'm thinking that this would be a super cute pair of leggings and might actually coordinate with that green-ish shade of the shorter skirt that I just showed you but again you can't beat these prices these little maybe you would want to call them biker shorts um, but I'm just thinking would definitely add some modesty to something that was a little bit on the shorter end or maybe um, a workout outfit that you were trying to figure out how to make a little bit more modest so if your skirt were to flip up um, especially in windy days then that would definitely be a handy option to have underneath the skirt and these wicking material tops here I was just thinking thinking, hmm, that might actually be a really good color scheme for some of those bottoms from earlier to turn those legging style um, athletic pants into skirts. Then here are some more of those shorter skirts, but with some super duper cute patterns and definitely are um, an option that I am considering. I have some pencil skirts actually that I think would be cute to layer. Next, I traveled over into a different section and these are actually shorts on the bottom but they're super flowy and I'm thinking possibly maybe a shorter pair of capri leggings under those would be cute okay really three dollars like three dollars I'm pretty sure that the print to the left there that you see like the floral yes that one right there Amanda pretty sure that that needs to come home with me I really really like that tealish bluish shade in this particular pair and your girl can never have enough leggings comment the word leggings below if you have a thing for leggings and definitely comment three dollars below if you have a thing for leggings on sale and i have a super huge thing with pockets like i love having pockets when i'm going around the house just doing some cleaning and having the leggings with the pocket i can slide my cell phone in yeah that's definitely a must all right ladies here is just another quick modesty hack or tip for you if you're not already doing this maybe it will help one suggestion is always to size down on your camisole undershirts um, so that they fit a little bit more snug so that you can keep them up higher the other trick that i do is um, especially if they don't have a little slider piece there but you can always tie a knot on both sides this i literally just had to do this the other sunday at church so and speaking of tying a knot james 1 2 through 3 says my brethren Count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. Friends, I want to remind you today to tie a knot. In the midst of the chaos that you may be facing and the trials you may be enduring right now, just look at them as an opportunity to grow closer. And instead of driving a wedge between you and the Lord, wondering why he's not answering your prayers, I encourage you to continue to call on the name of the Lord because he is faithful and he is a very on-time God. Just a regular knot like this on both sides and then you can get it up as high up as you need it. Now it might be a little uncomfortable here. You just gotta play with that to see what feels com most comfortable, but gives you that modest coverage at the top. So comment below and let me know if you've ever tried the knotting at the sides of your undershirt trick to raise the neckline, because that's something that I do a lot. Wearing the shirt backwards is another tip that I suggested in the last video. So if you guys haven't seen that one, then go ahead and check it out. I'll place it in the description box below for you, as well as the card up above. I'm loving what I'm finding here today. Let's keep shopping. Okay, whatever with this super cute denim. Okay, I never used to like denim. I'm gonna be honest, yes, I said it. I never used to like it, but now 
it's my jam, man. I really, really like it. I can see that little denim dress right there to the left with a pair of red heels and a pop of a red and maybe navy brooch. I'm just saying, I think it's cute. And you know you can never have enough cardigans to go over the top of summer dresses, so definitely check out this section. I am loving the material on these dresses right here. Like, honest to goodness, if Walmart wants to sponsor one of my modesty videos, I definitely would be interested. Um, yes, and a dress with pockets, which I'm going to show you in a minute, is amazing. The mustard yellow, it is absolutely stinking lootly a staple. And for 15 bucks for a modest dress that is a perfect length that has the perfect neckline, I was just finding such amazing deals and $15 okay focus camera seemed to be like the price and then there were the stripes me and polka dots and me and stripes we have a thing I don't know comment below are you like into polka dots and stripes because I am and I really really like this lavender lilac -y purple shade here and I'm thinking turn this shirt around that neckline at the top oh my goodness sakes provides a mating amazing coverage uh, for the top half you can't beat five dollars and even if you just wear that as a tee as it's designed like with the back in the back and the front in the front that would be super cute with just a denim skirt maybe and a pair of white little tennis shoes kids or something like that have you heard of kids let me know if you own a pair of kits below. Here's some more just really super inexpensive undershirts that you can turn around backwards and wear to give you some more modest coverage on the top half. A nice summer springy pop of color. And then, you know, then there were the $10 dresses. I personally would throw on a shirt underneath one of these if I was wearing it and possibly even a slip because the material can be quite clingy at times. And, you know, you're not really wanting to share all the curves again with the stripes um the patriotic one off to the right yeah i can see that in my closet and again here's the pockets that i told you about i love a good dress very simple very sleek almost borderline elegant especially if you pair it with the cutest cover-up wrap cardigan style maybe even lacy and speak of lace oh my word i hope i can get my hands on a dress like this and put it in my closet because i love lace lace just i don't know it's so timeless and so classic speaking of timeless and classic i had to pull this dress out to show you because even though the cost is 25 dollars, i don't know there's just something about this like I like the tiered effect to it. I like the little ruffle sleeve, but I think I would wear like a little sage green undershirt. I'm just digging all the things. Okay, comment below and let me know, did you like the mini Devo? Because you guys asked me to include that and I tried to hook y'all up with your um, Devo and Modest video combined. Uh, yeah, so anyways, stay kingdom minded in your modest endeavors and in all things and come back for my very next video and I will see you next time.